Hello. Give the game just a second. Should switch over. There it goes. How is everybody doing tonight? I am a little tired, but I'm eager to play. And I'm going to be going into the game today with a bit better of an attitude than I left it with on the last stream. Um, I'm actually going to start loading this up right now, because I know it, it takes a, a minute or two to actually load up the game. Um, but yeah, I think my last stream I just got like a little bit tired and I was like a little bit grouchy, but um, we're just going to have some fun. I have a couple of goals for this particular stream in the game. I want to get a moon pool. I don't know if that exists in this version of, uh, in this Subnautica. It, it might only be the first one, but um, I'd love to get a moon pool so that I don't have to constantly switch power cells in my sea trunk. Um, what else? I, there's a couple of ingredients that I need to get the next step, the module, um, on the sea trunk. And there's a couple of areas that I want to explore. And to explore those areas, I need the, um, I need the next step module. Maybe we'll build up our base a little bit more today, too. Uh, it would be really cool to get a, uh, observatory and maybe some, maybe even some plants. Um, off stream, I, just before I went live, I did a little bit of tech stuff trying to get the game to run a little bit smoother, and it looks a little better, but I'm still getting these horizontal lines, um, and I, I don't know what's causing that, because I've, I've tried messing with a few different things, but I didn't have much luck, but that's okay. It's not unplayable by any means. I do have to remind myself where I kind of left off a little bit. So let's start by just swishing out some batteries. Might as well get those charging. Drop off some stuff. We've got a lot of ruby and diamond now. Um, the ingredient that we need might show up. Uh, it's not showing at the top right. It was some sort of plant. It's not the ruby. Oh, it's something that we need to make this fiber. Let's see. Yeah, we need the spiral plant, uh, plant clipping. And then what's in the enameled glass is diamond and lead, so that's fine. We have that stuff. Um... Gold. Oh, I need more lockers so soon. I'm gonna have to really get some lockers and and do some like pro organizing of the lockers. You know, what, let's let's do a little bit of that now because I hate just like dumping stuff and then never knowing where it is. So let's see. Where's here is gonna be our next locker row. Actually, well, if we're gonna build off of it, I guess I can put a couple here. There are those, like, larger ones, too, but I feel these ones are just, like, a little bit easier to organize, I suppose. Let's do this. That works. So, over here, we definitely want to take out all this. Except for the fish, maybe. The fish can stay. I'll leave that in there, too. Maybe this can be, like, our organics area. Because originally it was gonna be, um, just this one. Oh, that'd be diamond. Uh, how about diamonds and rubies? That 
diamonds and rubies. Here. Let's do gold and silver. We don't have a whole lot of characters to work with, unfortunately, but that's okay. And then I think gold and silver are in here, too. All this base management. It's the most fun part of the game, wouldn't you say? And then this last one. Quartz can stay in there, that's fine. I think that's good for now. I am gonna grab some of these fish and cook them. Because we are hungry. That audio clip for the swallowing, it always catches me off guard, I must say. It's just always a little bit odd to me. Oh, we got another fish in here. Let's put, let's put all the fish together. Okay. And I'm gonna need some more water, too. Some sort of water purifier would be awesome. I don't even know if that exists in this game. Come here, come here. Come on, come on. God damn. Hard to catch. Let's see. I think a goal that I have is to fill up an entire, like, storage bin with fish so that I just, like, don't have to go out and catch any for, like, an entire stream because it's so tedious. And if they don't die in the in the uh, in the lockers, then why not? Just have a bunch of them. Maybe I should make an aquarium. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Ow! What? What? Surprising me. I guess I'll just go up and get some more air. It does seem like this game is overall deeper than the first game. Like, all of the shallow water areas are just, like, deeper than the safe shallows in the first game. Like, this whole thing is all very... feels very different. It's very easy to, like, accidentally find yourself too, too far down and then you can't get air. And I think that kind of um, circles back to my frustration from the last stream. Because I thought about it a lot. And I was like, why am I getting so upset? Like, why am I getting so irritated? Um, and I think it's because it you're deceptively deeper than you expect to be in a starting area. Um, because I haven't gone out. Like, I haven't branched away from my starting location like much at all but I have been going down a lot so it's just like a, a different type of progression than I am used to and expected like right now I'm already at 100 meters and it feels like I'm right at the surface but I'm not you know what these Always, I always need these when I need more batteries and stuff. Get a couple more. I don't 
need a creature egg. Alright, get a couple ribbon plants. Come here, peeper. Come here. Come here. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen this? remaining. All these random pieces of, uh... Come here. Come here. Couple more bladder fish would be nice. Get some water. Come here. Where'd it go? They're a little hard to spot. I was too slow to click it. Come here. There we go. Oh, there's a lot of, of battery plants over here. That's good. Good to know. I'm gonna go through a whole battery just looking for fish. What am I doing? Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh, one of these guys. Are they fighting each other? That's sick. That's awesome. Alright, I think that's enough of that. If I grab any more on the way back, that's swell. But let's get back to the base. And then we can then we can go do some stuff. So I need this sample and I don't know where it's from. I know this is technically coral. Doesn't seem to do much. Hey, how are you doing, Ronox? Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. My poor PDA. Just working off the charts, trying to keep up with me. Welcome aboard, Captain. I have been able to sense the location of an important artifact. I will share its coordinates so you can look into it. Got it. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Excellent. How's Subnautica? It's good. It's good. So, on the last stream, I got very frustrated. Um, and so, like, I thought about it, and I, I thought about why that, why that happened. Um, I... I Opposed from me just kind of being, like, overall very stressed lately. Um, and it's because this game um, has a progression level that's a little bit different than the first game. Uh, and I think, like, in terms of the geography of the landscape, it's like, I'm going very deep at places where my shuttle was when I started the game. Um, and that's very unusual compared to the first game where you're really branching out and you're going further and further away and then going deeper. Where it's here, it's like you're kind of staying in kind of a small area and then just like going down. Um, so I was kind of like going to these new areas with these new difficulties without realizing that there was supposed to be a difficulty spike. Um, and, and so I got like pretty stomped um, and, like, I don't know, like, I was just very confused by it, or put off by it, until I realized, oh, this is, this is intentional. Alright, great. Let's eat that one fish, and then we're gonna, um, yeah, not as wide, yeah. Which is, which is cool. I, that's interesting. I'm curious what's going to happen as we get further into the game. Um, 
I don't need to hold some of this stuff, and I'd like to put it in this locker. This is going to be my miscellaneous locker. I don't need to bring that, and I don't need to bring a flare. Uh, the battery I'll keep. This can go on four. I'll keep that, I suppose. You played the first one a bunch, so you'll get to this one eventually. It's very good so far. I, I'm very into it. Um, I don't know what this coral sample is. So in, in the top right, that like red coral piece, I have no idea where that's from. Also, how much battery does my sea trunk have? Because I, I remember it being like quite low. And to the point that I, yeah, 34%. I think I'm gonna, uh, I think I'm gonna make a, a new battery for it. A new power cell. Uh, Vorzo, hello. How are you doing today? Welcome in. Mm, power cell. Oh, okay, that's easy. Easy peasy. Um. Might as well take out my good, or my slightly used batteries before I, uh, uh, you've been playing, uh, just exploring the story a little. How do you like it so far? Overall, I really like it. There were a couple of things that made me kind of like tilt my head a little bit at first, and now I'm kind of warming up to it. I'm warming up to the changes. And I think I just need to make sure I'm keeping an open mind and I'm remembering that this game is not the same as the first game. They are two separate games. So. Also wanted to look up the beacon manager. All right, so we got the new one, Hylet. It's over there. Is that right? I guess so. It's yeah, it's definitely good that they made it different. I think it just like when I when I started playing it, there were so many similarities that I just like expected it to be the same, and that was that was incorrect of me to assume. Man, I'm getting attacked. My poor sea trunk. How do I get down here? That is the question. Oh my gosh. Go away, go away, go away. Let's, let's, uh, let's... Can I repair from in here? Because that would be convenient. Guess not. Do you know if this is the same planet as the first? It is. It takes place two years in the future. Heads up that coral can be replanted to grow more. Good to know. Be careful about uh, about hints, though. Just FYI. Let's see, how is gonna be the best way to get down here? I assume it is a tunnel in here. Didn't give any hints as to where to find it, gotcha. All good, all good. I'm sure I'll ask questions as we get further into the game as well. This seems right. Well, we'll see. I mean, I don't know how, how deep my poor little ship can go. 
I like get nervous. Well, we're on the right level now. Uh, if you explore, you'll find most things. Yeah, I assume as much. If, if, uh, if the game needed a guide to successfully, like, play it, I would, uh, I would consider it bad design. Oh, I hate those. I hate it. I hate it. It is both reassuring and unsettling to rediscover this site after being in storage for so long. My connection to the network grows stronger, however slightly. I hope you will continue to search for more of these. I will come back. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, I'll get it when I find it. Yeah, you're right. Alright. I have a feeling it's in this area. So I'm just going to kind of, like, experiment a little bit. Um, uh, I do want to, like, murder everything in here, though. And it's not these, which surprised me. That's kind of what I thought it would be. Nope. Hey, Jem. How are you? This game is super pretty. Hmm. Maybe it's not in here. It could be. What? 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 Oh, I took it off. I didn't mean to. Alright, that sounds like we're reconnected. So... What? Oh! You're good, just chilling. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Um, I've been very stressed lately, I will admit, um, but I think that's just how it be sometimes. Uh, I got that one already, that's fine. I did want to look in here really quick. I don't think this is where I'm supposed to go. I think it was just luck that I, like, found it. Don't you come for me. Ah, god damn it! That is not fair. I avoided it. Alright, alright. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Okay. It could be in that area that I found the ruby.
I do find it strange that I didn't, I wasn't able to get to this. It's like I'm just too far from it. What is the story of this? It makes you think of um, Outwilders, but in the water. It's. Do you mean. Are you talking about Outer Wilds? Um, because there are a lot of similarities between the two, for sure. Um, it's, it is very space exploration, but underwater on an alien planet. Um, the story so far is that we are looking for our sister who came here to do research and went missing. Oh yeah, no worries. I get what you mean. There's a fruit fly that's like flying around my head right now and it's driving me nuts. I had uh, I had gnats in a, in a plant that I got and so I've been treating them with like an insecticide and they're almost gone but every now and again like one pops up and it drives me nuts yeah I hope so too I'm not too hopeful but we'll see right now we're also um, we're chatting with a alien race that we accidentally like merged with they uh accidentally um merged with our consciousness and so until there's like a better host we're stuck with them how am i gonna get to this alien thing Ancient artifact. Yeah, yeah. Every now and again, one of them will chime in and start chatting. Maybe if we come from over here. It's still like 300 away. And this doesn't feel right. Ugh. I hate bumping into stuff constantly. Feel bad about it. And sometimes I get that that sound, and I I actually just don't know what caused it because I don't remember like hitting anything. But How do I get to you? Very tough to navigate. Oh, come on. No! Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh. 
Those guys are the worst. They are my least favorite. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. to scan maybe hmm. all right well let's go back up not having my questions answered just yet. Can I make it through here? I hope so. We're doing it. Come on. Oh god. Come on. Alright, guess not. Guess not. Back down. Try this side. Okay. I'll take it. Let's go back up. Maybe we'll go where we kind of left off last time. Um, where I got the ruby. We could try to find coral over there because I think to progress we really kind of need this next step module so felt a docking station let's yeah let's go to the pilot's last known location and we'll try diving back down sure I'm following the right thing. And I think if we don't run into much luck here, it might be a good time to explore some of the island. That might be cool. The sound is disconcerting. Yeah, I, um... That was something else that I was kind of getting irked by by the last game, is like, this is a, a lot. Like, a lot of the creatures in here are very, just like, chomp, 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 chomp. And it's like, by having so many of them in common areas do stuff like that, it kind of diminishes the scariness of them a little bit. I don't know. It feels weird. It feels kind of weird. But... No biggie. They're definitely still very spooky. Like, I don't want to get near them. What monsters have you seen? Just kind of like these surface ones, really. I'm not very far in the game. I've, I've only played a couple hours. And then my, uh... Oh, this is the... Yeah, this is below zero, so it's the sequel. God, man. Crashing into everything. Any 
anything look like coral? Um, no, so, no, I, um, these are all new characters, so we don't, we don't know the sister yet. Could try. I have to. I have to rebuild, repair my ship, regardless. Get out of here for a moment. Lily pad root. Doesn't sound like coral to me. Whoa. Get out of here. Get out of here. That's cool. Rainflower drops. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. stuck on what am I what what is happening why am I stuck uh, go back down I guess go up This music is very different from the the tone of anywhere else we've been, really. Don't you come near me. I'll stab you. They're friendly? They kept stealing stuff from me. Yeah, the music's nice. It's just not sus it's not suspenseful at all, which is a, a relief, honestly. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Where I have to leave my shit. Didn't I tell you to stay away? From what? what? I don't even know who you are. Marguerite Maida is the name. You're on my turf. Great. Can I come in and warm up? What part of go away do you not understand, Altera? I'm not with Altera. <gasps> Moon pool! Yeah, the oxygen is very short. I have to be very careful. Can I get in here? Can I go in through the moon pool? Oh, hell yeah. Customized prawn suit. Oh, this is sweet. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna scan everything. I 
told you to stay off my land. I'm sorry, I don't listen Trade to people. That thing? Next time I'll let him tear you to ribbons, Altera. I'm not with Altera. I'm Robin Ayu. I'm looking for information about my sister Sam. I think you might have crossed paths. Bull crap. I suggest you take the time you need to come to your senses and then get off my sea base. If you're not out there, why don't you skeleton? disable that damn tracking satellite tower instead of barging into my sea base? Maybe once Altera's off my back, I'll remember something about your sister. There's some junk on that table that might help. I couldn't get it to work. Okay. Why can't we just be friends? Let's just let's just chill. That that's that's cool. Large room glass dome. New blueprint synthesized. Snow fox. That far out to sea, swimming back for land wasn't an option. I'd die from exhaustion long before I made it to shore. All I could do was survive long enough to wash up somewhere. I felt a suction. And suddenly, there were vast jaws rising out of the water towards me. It had taken hours for the Reaper's corpse to float to the surface. Using the knife, I clambered up her flank and got a perch on top. I figured she'd float for a few days at least. Enough for me to catch her breath. But would she sink before or after I died of thirst? I had a knife, a repair tool, and three liters of water. At least I wasn't gonna die of exhaustion. Now, those reapers, they're practically all muscle, but there's some fat in there. I was able to keep warm and drink the water. And I didn't have much, but I had that repair tool, so I had a spark. It took a week to light that first fire. And I know more about the burning properties of Reaper fat than I ever cared to. I had to ration fires, but as they burned, I could smoke meat that I carved out of the beast's rib cage. Can I go through, please? Please, sir. I'd like to go through. He's not gonna let me through. Prawn suit. Modified by its owner, exchanging one of its hot swappable work arms for the mandible of a young Helserate. <laughs> the owner doesn't want you messing around. <gasps> Sam spy pengling drawing. Aw, it's so cute. This artifact's function is poorly understood, but scans indicate it is generating strong electromagnetic fields. Some hypothesized functions. High uh, energy transfer device, geomagnet scientific instrument, communication network node. The southern accent, yeah. Yeah, it's good. Snow stalker. I love it. I love it so much. Snowstalker is a bear-like evolutionary offshoot of the aquatic stalker native to the warmer aquatic biomes. Avoid. If entering snowstalker territory is necessary, sources of bright light and unpredictable noises have been shown to deter attacks. Okay. Blooming raindrops. Lily pad root. Tech. Seek fluid and take. Moon pool. We're definitely going to go make one of these. Hey, Lou. Welcome in. How are you doing? Snow fox. One person hover bike designed for fast travel over a wide variety of terrain. That's exciting. Bright light. Move. Get out of the way. Get out of here. Get out of here. Alright. That's fine. 
I don't need to go past you. Uh, I guess that's everything from here, unless I'm gonna scan this base a little more. Intake recommended. Large room fragment. Dropping in to see you lovely folks in the lovely ocean. It is so lovely in here. That's very cool. I'm gonna get some more air and then I'm gonna go down a little bit before I go back up to my ship. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I guess I'll have a a snack also, cause Vital signs stabilizing. I gotta be hungry. Um coming along well, excited to do more. Yeah, I love I love that. Um that drawing you're you're working on. It is amazing. I, yeah, every time that I watch you work on it, I'm like, I, I'm like, I want that. Can I rent that? You guys, the apartment hunt stuff is like unreal. It's, like, kind of hard to believe how crazy it is, actually. Oh, come on. I went this way a little bit already. Let's go around the other side. Some more stuff that I haven't had a chance to scan. I gotta go back. Warning. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Up, 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 up. What's all that on the wall, I wonder? Oxygen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely feels like there was more to scan over here. this. Did we get all the thermal stuff? That's cool, but unexpected. I guess so. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Back we go. Ooh, we maybe went a little far. I think we'll make it. Oxygen. We're gonna be fine. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. All right. I'm not sure how much more we can reasonably explore in this area without having the next depth module. But I don't know what this coral looks like yet. Oh, 
Oh man, it's deep here. This is suspicious. Large crystal formation. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. This time I went too far. This time. We may not make it. Oxygen. Hey man. Oh, oh, it's getting dark. Hey, all right. Okay. I have mind. What? What? What even? I'm so glad we got that moon pool though. But where is that coral? Seek fluid and take. I should have brought more water with me. At least I've got a bunch of stuff out of this. Oh, the locker is so small. It holds so little. Feels kind of weird to leave this area. Hydrate! I've got some tea here. I will pour some more. Thank you for the hydrate. I've been trying to get myself back into the habit of drinking tea. Oh, thank you. I, I uh, made it in a ceramics class way back in the day. Makes me think of Winnie the Pooh. I like that. I like nostalgic stuff. Cool. All right. Coral. I was coral. Where would I be? Part of me thinks it has to be down where I was a little bit. What's down here? Oh, I think we've been here already. Another site found. Oh, maybe not. Perhaps its data will tell me something useful. I have collected enough data to extrapolate the location of a component necessary to assemble my body. What? I will provide a signal. That's cool. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Nickel. Ooh, that's new. I have to turn off a couple of these uh, beacon beacons because they're so distracting. I get a little turned around. Um, we just got legalized in New York and walking around outside the smell of 
Hot air tree and weed is very nostalgic for you. Yeah, yeah, trees. I getcha. How do humans function with such inefficient bodies? <laughs> You tell me, man. <laughs> Over the course of millennia, architects have crafted and perfected our forms based on the species we have observed and emulated. As long as we can shift ourselves into another vessel, we cannot truly die. It's pretty neat. I remember Nickel being such a pain to get in the first game that I'm just like, is there any more? I'll take all that there is. I could, uh... I could grab the, kind of like, the locator thingy. But I don't feel like that actually helps all that often. I don't know. smell of trees and burning charcoal and fresh cut grass is nostalgic to summer's past. Oh, I bet. Very happy people are coming back outside now. Yeah, that's nice. I I need to get back outside. Um, it's, it's tough sometimes. I don't know. I've been feeling very, like, I, have, I haven't had very much motivation to do anything lately. I don't know. At least any, like, oh, Wait. What? Did you bring this to me? Aw, oh, thank you. Can I pet you? Thanks, bud. Sweet. I'm sorry for, uh, stabbing you earlier. Or your, your friend. Oh god, one of those things. No, thank you. Man, I just kind of want to load up on materials. Like, I don't even know what I need, but I want to just take an entire inventory of anything I can get my hands on. Yeah, you're right. Hey, thanks for the titanium, buddy. The, at first, they were just, like, stealing all my stuff, and so I was just attacking them. Ah, ah, fuck. That surprises me every time. Ooh. Alright, can't get stuck in one of those again. Do I even have a... I don't. I don't have a health pack. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I'm into this music. This is nice. Let's move around a bit more. Oof. Sorry. storage. Drop a couple of these things. See fluid intake. Ooh, that's bad. Ooh, that's not good. Never mind, we're gonna leave. Actually, wait. Oh man, that's actually really not good. Um, I do have my knife, so I might be able to um... <laughs> Is there a fish around here? Whoa! I didn't realize that would be so fast. There was no penalty. I suffered no penalty. I'm... That, I was fine. I maybe lost some of these things? No biggie. <laughs> Let's just go back out. <laughs> um, 
It is nice that the, uh, the penalty for death feels much kinder in this game. I think I'm about ready to go back anyways. Lots of ruby. And I do want to check my logs. I kind of, I want to know if we have any, um, two body, two, uh, two, two things to go find. Okay. Data bank. I want to go to Laura. I don't think it's... Maybe it is research. Yeah, fauna. I want fauna. And flora. I want to see if anything here... Shelf coral. No, that's just like the... I'm pretty sure this is the ones that we cut off and use for um like the computer chips found something you shouldn't have oh no crescent moon coral could try that Exploitable. Unusually oversized single celled organism made of three parts the rhizoid, or foot like root system beneath the soil, the sock, and the cap. It is a single nucleus is located in the rhizoid, meaning that if this bulbous cap is removed or devoured by aquatic fauna, it will slowly regrow a new cap. So, it says exploitable. I'm gonna keep an eye out for those. Maybe we'll, um... Maybe we'll find one and we can try to take something from it, I guess? The real question, how did I get in here? Did we not go to this? I mean, I guess I'll check since I'm right here. But I think this is where we just were, is it not? 
I haven't scanned this either. Unless there's nothing to scan. Alright. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. the other one go? There's that one that's 600 meters. This one that's 400 meters. That's far though. Even though it's right there, that is... I need to... I'll need a depth module to get to where that is. These lily pads are cool, I like them. One thing that surprises me is I haven't found any, like, leviathans yet. Everything I've found has been pretty... normal. Or at least, like, in a relatively safe area. It's all been relatively safe. Oh, what's this? This is cool. Significant oh, that's what you found and you ran? Oh no. Beware of high pressure and temperatures. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, fish. hit the wall. Wouldn't you know? Don't you know? There it is. First, I'm going to repair my ship, and then I'm gonna go in there. Because the worst thing is when you come out and your ship's destroyed because a fish ate it. Some oxygen. And we're going. I want to check this out. This is cool. I wish that was food. Cut to access. We don't have a laser cutter yet. Ooh, power cell. Copper wire. Jukebox. Sealed cut to access. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Well, this is cool. We'll have to come back here. Once we get a laser cutter. I don't even know if I have the blueprints for a laser cutter. I'll have to check. There's definitely like a full room that I didn't get to see there. I'm a little curious about what's over here. I just have to keep an eye on my depth. Warning. Maximum up, up, up. depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Okay. 
What's all this then? Looks like it's gonna pop. Ah! And it did. Pick these up. No. Nope. Take that though. Ah! Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. This looks like the. Oh, there's something. As this looks like the entrance to something cool. Uh, and I just, like, am not equipped to go here yet. But I do want to scan whatever this is. Docking module. Ooh. Maybe there is stuff here that's worth exploring. I love being able to cook fish uh, just Warning. on the go like 30 that. Seconds of oxygen remaining. Let's make sure that I'm staying high enough. Here we go. Oh, this music's so good. Um, at one point I was saying that, you know, I like the Subnautica soundtrack is like one of my favorite soundtracks. And another soundtrack that I really enjoy is the FTL soundtrack, but I, I don't actually play FTL. Um, and I, I didn't realize that it's the same guy. Or the same composer. I don't know who they are, but. This is very cool. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay, I'm going back. I was hoping there would be another one of those blueprints, or another one of those... Fragments. That's cool. This is very cool. That exploration felt really good, I will say. Um, that felt rewarding and not, like, difficult, if that makes sense. Like, earlier the exploring that I was doing, trying to get materials and stuff, um, where I, like, couldn't quite reach yet. Ooh, sleeper module. Um, it felt kind of punishing because it was, like, so difficult to get to those areas. But this, like, this is nice. It's, like, an area that my sea trunk can easily get to. And I can push a little bit further if I want to, and I may be rewarded. But I don't need to, per se. If that makes sense.
Ah, so many supplies. Oh, it's so nice. seconds of oxygen remaining got a whole new module oh. get a little bits of water from that I remember when I was playing the first game I was um, I was pretty deep trying to remember exactly like where I was. I think I was in I don't know if I've seen that before. Oh jeez. Let go. Let go. Leave me alone. That's cool. <laughs> I like his little jaws. Uh, I do have to swap out my uh, power cell. I guess I'll let it fully run out of battery first. Let's see, is this one? Okay, but this one's out, so I can do that. get eaten. I'm, I'm making bad decisions. Man, it's gonna get spooky when we see some real leviathans. Cause that guy, that guy was bigger, but he was still pretty small, comparatively. Maybe I'm just like, ready for it. I just like, know what's coming. Why would you chomp my ship like that? Oh, we'll go make a, make a moon pool. And then what? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's next. I'll park a little further away so I can make room to make the moon pool. First I gotta heal. Have some water. Welcome aboard, Captain. I think it's in here, maybe? I know I- oh yeah, that was it. I just didn't- didn't see it. Cool. Go over here. Grab that. We will then pin it. Two, four. Now, what do we need to make Ooh, acid, anemone. Parallel processing unit, what? I have the high capacity of, oh, wait, really? Oh, shit, we should make that right now. Pin that. And where's the moon pool? Let's pin that as well. 
Hell yeah. Control room. Aesthetic design. <laughs> Two lead, one oil, two... Okay, that's plenty. You found a lot of new things? Awesome. That's such a good feeling. Like, when you feel like you've really made progress in a game, it's so nice. Quantum locker. A, st a storage solution which shares content with all other quantum lockers? That's so cool. <laughs> Prawn suit upgrades. Diagnostics module for the Delta Station Communications Tower. When you think you've seen everything, think again. Yeah, I felt the same way about um, Outer Wilds, where um, if you haven't played that, I highly recommend it because of how similar it is to this game in a lot of ways. Um, but I... I don't, I've never felt so much wonder playing a video game. Um, it's just, I don't know. It's up there for me. It's It's got to be one of my favorite games. Like, Subnautica was... Or, uh, Outer Wilds compared to Subnautica is... Like, all this, it's, it's, uh, the same kind of, like, exploration. Oh, thank you. Uh, same kind of exploration. But you don't have to worry about any of the survival aspect. Um, no food or base management, no crafting. It's just exploration. Uh, exploration and storytelling and problem solving. Um... Which is was very cool to see. I want to make a couple of those. I know I only needed one, but these just take up so much space. I just want to have a couple extra. Uh, and some lead. Lead is in this one. All right, now where to put it? to put it. Hey, Kim. How's the sea booty? It's, uh, it's about to get a new home. I hope. If I can figure out how to place it. It's fine going here. Oxygen. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die while trying to figure out where to put it. How are you doing, Kim? How I um how was uh, Detroit?
that game is so much for me. Um, Alright, I guess we're gonna... Can I deconstruct this? Can't deconstruct. Remove batteries first. Okay. Oh. I'll make a new battery charger. And I'll pick up my... that. Friends with Hank and just found Luther. So I, I haven't played it myself. I watched, um... I watched KY, uh, my partner, play a little bit of it on their stream. Um, oh yeah, here we go. Um, and everything I saw... No, I don't want minus five to base integrity! I need more lead, okay. Alright, hang in there, base. It's gonna be okay. Ooh. Let me in. But yeah, I also feel like I kind of know how the game goes because um, I've just watched other David Cage games. <laughs> and they all seem to be like a little bit similar. Not exactly the same, but similar in a lot of ways. I hope my base doesn't flood. Lead. Although I probably want... A chance of... Lead. There we go. The other ones were very predictable, but this one's your favorite? Cool. Good to know that if I decide to play one, it should be that one. This is the first time this thing has ever picked anything up, I think. Like, is this thing really all that helpful? I don't know. I don't know if it is. I feel like the range isn't isn't big enough for it to actually make a difference as opposed to just using One, my eyeballs. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Um. But yeah, I don't know. I I love a story-based game. Total is now 5.8. Sweet. Good enough. Uh, but now I need a new... Hatch. There's probably stuff there. I have to, like, move everything around now. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yep. Nope, oh, nope, oh, I want this. Deconstruct. Alright. Will this all fit? Works for me. Well, I guess I kind of want some of these things. Oh, right, I have to make a new battery charger. Which is... 
around here somewhere. Here it is. Kind of like it being right next to the door. So many batteries now. Cool. All right. Also, the bioreactor lasts forever if it even like depletes. Like, it's had this kelp in here for like multiple hours. <laughs> It is very nice, but surprising. All right, sea truck. We're gonna get you into your new home, our sea booty. Get in there. Yeah. Very nice. Oh. Does it not take all the parts of it? Yeah, it leaves that there. It just, like, clips off. It just gets stuck. Can't enter here. Too steep. Okay. I'm not really sure how this, this little chip works, but I'm fine with it. Also, my hair is just, like, making me itch. I just need to, like, pull it back a little bit or something. Okay. Oh, there's a bug in here. Man. Downsides of the summer is the bugs get everywhere. Maybe that's what it is. I've got, like, a fly that keeps landing on me. All right. No silver, no gold. Just throw that in there for now. Throw that in there. Oh, the computer chip was from the modification station. I might as well remake that while I'm at it. Synthetic fibers, man. It's cool that we're gonna kind of have the sea truck, it seems like, for the rest of the game. I don't know if that's true, but that's what it feels like. So I want to put my poster back up. I think I put it in another thing, though. All right, well, we got our modification station. We'll dump the other stuff, the random things that we don't need. Grab some food. What? Hey there. And let's make a health pack. Fiber mesh. Uh, I think I have to go get those samples. Yeah, I don't think I have any. Oh, I do have one. I think I need two though, right? Yeah, I need two. Well, Let's throw that in there, at least. And the diamond... Where was diamond? Was it in here? No, but I'm gonna put it in here. Too much stuff. My sea truck is all full, too. I tried to unload it, but I, but because it's, like, clipped, I have to, like, let go of the sea truck first. 
It's also going to be weird having my, my bearings are all thrown off from, uh, having the door moved. Fiber mesh. I don't want to make another fish yet. I'm already almost out of water. It's crazy. Well, we can on tag the moon pool now. Recyclotron recycles items into into their counterparts. Oh, and we should make the jukebox. I should do that, too. Let's make the jukebox. Take off the moon pool. The other stuff we still have on our to-do list. But the, uh... I want so a couple titanium. We need six. Six. We need... One, one quartz and one silver. Silver and gold's over here. The oxygen tank. And glass. So we need... Uh, I think I have more quartz somewhere. Maybe not. This is going to make a huge difference. Alright, one more quartz. Double check that there's none in here before I go out and get some. Yeah, let's go get some. Is my tank equipped? It sure is. Cool. Let's go get a couple pieces of quartz. While we let our ship charge up. Our sea booty. Hello, quartz. It's usually hard to miss. I just need one, so I'm actually good now, but it'd be nice to get a couple more. So we don't have to do this next time we eat glass. Oh my god, the air tank lasts so much longer. I know I just, like, filled. No, don't want it. Um. Yeah, I know I used one of those... air plants. But... My oxygen just still lasts so much longer, regardless. It's another quartz. Motor vehicle bay. Okay. I have a lot of regular fish. I don't have a lot of water fish. Bladder fish. Grab them when I see them. I'm 
gonna over farm these guys. I'm glad the sea monkeys are friendly. I did not like when they stole my stuff. It almost sounds like I damage my ship when I climb into the moon pool. Uh, cool. So we need... That's it. That's all we need. We just... We don't even have to craft anything with what we got. Alright. Let's put it right here. Your box. The jukebox lets you listen to music in your base. No one said survival. Couldn't be funky. Can be funky. What is the purpose of this device? It plays music so that I have something to listen to. What is music? It's Music so loud. It's more than that. We experience it on an emotional level. I sense it has an impact on your pulse and breathing. It makes you move differently. Humans are controlled by music. Control. We make music and we're moved by it. Not everything is about control, Alan. I wonder if the, if I like come in to the moon pool from this side if the if the ship will stay intact. If it's not like spinning it around. Nope. All right, it just pulls up that part. Man, I I want to play this, but it's it's so loud. You have no concept. It's so loud. <laughs> Is it attached? Nope. All right. Oh, whoops. Just let me in. Robin, I have something important to share. Another artifact. Yes, although you cannot know for sure what it is, but it is certainly of significant import. I know. Signal location uploaded to PDA. What? No, 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 get back in. I just want to connect to the back of the other ship so I can get my stuff. Let's see? Alright, I got it. Get out. Okay. Let me in. I guess it would have been better if I'd like emptied my storage before grabbing this stuff, but you know. It's almost weird how instant getting out of the getting out of the ship is. And I have so much stuff now. Okay. Let's 
dump some fish in here. Empty locker. I love to see it. Who needs organization? Maybe at some point, like, off stream, I'll just, like, go through and organize everything because it feels silly. with the copper in here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, like, do an overhaul and just, like, completely redo all of the storage. Get all that nickel. Nothing in there. Alright. That's everything. Okay, let's sit for a moment so that I won't lose my food and health. Let's go to the data bank. Oh, the fossil fossil excavator. I remember this thing. This that was that what we found on the way back when we went down into that tunnel and there was some random alien stuff. Based on analysis, it is speculated that this artifact is an archaeological tool for finding and excavating fossil remains. Remnants. Um, the main body of this equipment is housed between two glide rails. The excavator emits a sonar pulse that gathers data on the ground beneath it. When it bounces back with possible fossilized object, it begins the excavation process. A set of lasers emits from the arms and slowly removes micro layers of material. Once the fossil is revealed, the same carefully calibrated layers are utilized to break those materials while preserving the fossil underneath. Fossils can be analyzed using carbon dating and other methods to understand what the environmental makeup might have been millions of years ago, which can be compared to the current data to look for trends. Ooh, Morganite is a rare variety of beryl, a durable mineral consisting of beryllium aluminum silicate. Striking purple coloration is indication that trace amounts of manganese were present during the formation. Thermal plant. I don't know if we're gonna... I mean, I guess we'll need this maybe eventually. Docking module. Docking module provides capacity to attach one standard prawn suit to the sea trunk. Mechanical arms extend to automatically secure the prawn suit to the vehicle on approach. Prawn suit not included. I don't think we have a prawn suit yet. I don't know what the point of the sleeper module is. Maybe for healing or something? I still don't know what the little plus means. I assume it means new. Or maybe it's like places I haven't been yet. Hey Pyro. Welcome in. Hmm. I kind of wish this had the depth. Oh, 
Oh, I want to I want to get to that one. Like I feel like I should be able to. But I also think that assumption might be incorrect. Oh, let's grab a battery before we go. Uh, Pyro, I saw you were streaming earlier. You're doing your community night. How'd that go? We'll grab an extra power cell. We'll just dump these. I want to grab a couple of batteries. For, they, they'd be in the battery charger. I'll take two. Uh, and then I want to make sure I grab some food and water. And more food and water than I did last time. Um, I guess I'll just take two fish. I feel like they're gonna go bad. I guess I could cure them. I don't even think I have any salt. It was really, it went really well. Played lots of jukebox games. That's awesome. I do have salt. I'll just cure them. Oh, Jackbox. I think it's a jukebox. We made a jukebox in this game. And it's so fucking loud. I, like, I can't figure out how to adjust the volume. Or maybe it's this. Is it this? Alright, find out. Oh, okay. It was like super cool, but it was so loud when I started playing it. I was like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> panic. Everyone panic. All right, sea truck. I wanna go to this. I don't know if we'll be able to. It might be too deep. But I want to. Whenever I tried before, I just like wasn't getting into the right area. I definitely need to go into this lower section. So, theoretically, I should be able to get there from here. I have a larger air tank now, so that may help. Oh, this is spooky. I've been here before. It's like we're close, but but not. God, I hate that every time. Fuck. Ugh. Oh, I hate those things. Okay. Already. 
Oh, look at all this diamond right here, though. This must have been somewhere I died previously. Trying to keep a good eye out for those scary guys. More diamond. Got that already, too. I wish I had some kind of indicator if I was, like, on the right track. This looks maybe further away, actually. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. This area is tricky, and I'm like destroying my poor thing just by flying around in here. Um, this is titled Coral. So one of the things that we're trying to find right now is a coral sample, but we don't know what it looks like. Um, yeah, I don't know. And it's not this. It's not the table coral. Maybe it's this? I remember this is called a coral, I think. I thought it was table coral when I was looking at it, but I'm realizing it's something else. Nope. Hmm. Getting a little stumped. I do feel like a little stuck in the game, but that's okay. I kind of have some ideas of what I need to do, and I'm just not sure how to do it yet. If it all came easy, it wouldn't be fun. to go around this way. Come on. Welcome aboard, Captain. Hmm. 
Hmm. I still don't have the laser cutter stuff either. Let's sit again and we'll read some more of our data bank. Except that I'm like caught up on everything. unpin that for sure. Hey, why? <laughs> Thank you for the resub. <laughs> All the tier threes. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. How's work going? Let's see. The game's okay. I, um, I'm a little stuck right now. So I, I have these, like, these beacons, right? And I have to find these artifacts so that I can rebuild an alien's body um and therefore they can stop using me as a host uh but i i can't um get to these i just like can't quite figure out how to get there um and so i've done some other like random exploring and stuff and and i think the next thing that i need is this depth module but i need the spiral cl plant clippings first and i don't know where that's from it is very pretty like let me go back out and get up out of my chair like the game is very pretty um i was running into a bit of a problem with like just how it was displaying but it seems like once everything loads in it, it looks fine but everything i've looked at so far has been like stunning There's also a lot of land that I haven't really gone to yet. I checked it out a little bit. There's also weather. <laughs> so I can't see anything now. But there is an island, I swear, with a mountain. Shiny in the, in the verse. Uh, yeah. I'm just not sure how to get to these. I've gotten as close as I can get. And I'm still, like, 200 meters away. It's like I have to go somewhere else and then go through a tunnel to get there. And then these ones... I just don't know. One of them is new. Maybe I should just try going to the newest one. Which is... This bottom one, I think? My poor little submarine. Whenever I dock, its little modules come off. Are there more survival meters in the first game? Not really. Um, it seems like heat and uh, cold matter more. Because you're in like an ice biome. Uh, so like if you go up onto the shore, you have to worry about getting too cold. But that's about it. Um, I haven't really been impacted by it at all. Uh, the difficulty scaling is very different, I will also mention. Um, did the first game have temperature? It did, but it was, it was like, if you got too close to, like, a thermal vent, you would get burned, and there were a couple of areas that you, uh, you couldn't go to without being in a ship, uh, because it was too hot. But that's about it. Um, 
Also, look at this guy. Look at him. Stretch. Thank you for the stretch. Ugh. Been slouching a lot. I had to pause or else I was gonna get demolished by a big shark fish. Ugh. Okay. Hi! Can I help you? Everything in here is so mean. Except there are little monkey fish. The monkey fish are nice. They, like, bring you things. They're like, oh, I heard you needed some titanium. I picked this up off the floor for you. And your camera, like, locks onto them so you can pick it up. Yeah, monkey. They're little monkeys. It's, it's legitimately called... Let me see. Alright, I'm gonna- I'm gonna get destroyed. Go away! Leave me alone! Don't need this. Not into it. Get- let me get out of the danger zone, I suppose. Here seems fine. Uh, research? Indigenous life forms. Fauna. Herbivores. Sea monkey. Yeah. When you first approach them, they, like, steal stuff from you. Alright, hold up. I thought I was here. I thought I, I, I came to this whole area, and we, like, looked around, we scanned stuff. Maybe I missed something? I went here. Oh, it's just way further down. Like, I don't think I can get there. That seems, like, way too deep. Like, my ship definitely can't get there. But I also can't swim an additional 400 meters without my ship. Unless there's like a different way to get down, maybe? I can go maybe like 200 meters. It doesn't even seem like an option. Ugh. This is the same place, it's just like a different entrance. Maybe it's like down here more. I don't really see another cave entrance except for like. I'll try going down there. I'll try it. I'll try it. The penalty for death is almost nothing, so. Oh, yeah, I remember this giant thing. Okay. Ugh. Oh yeah, I like started to get down to some of this area. Ooh, prawn suit.
Oh, shit. Hell yeah. Grub rock? What? Oh, I'm gonna... I have to be very careful. I'm gonna... Lose my bearings and then not have oxygen very quickly. In fact, let's go back up. And then I'll come back down. New music. It's exciting. Ooh. Oops. I can probably get this a little bit closer. Actually, you know what? I don't even want to risk losing that mineral. No, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Does it have to be like a level or something? All right, there we go. Let's drop all this stuff off. I don't want to lose any of this. I will eat some fish though. Back down we go. We don't have any... Hey, orc! We don't have any, uh... Oxygen plants down here, and that makes me nervous. Orc, how was the rest of your stream? some games, won some games. Jade membrane. Man. This is so freaking cool. But... Holy shit, do I need another uh, depth module to get down here reliably. On that Street Fighter grind, yeah. Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oof. Games that you really need to grind to, like, be on a, on a competitive level with intimidate me so much. Like, I never could really get into StarCraft because of how uh, intimidating it is. Hey, Garlic. Oh, question of the day. Enjoy replaying games. I kind of love replaying games. Um... I replay games a lot, actually. Yeah, Garlic, this game looks amazing. It is really beautiful. And it's running a lot smoother than it was previously. I, I, I fiddled with some settings and got it looking a little bit nicer. Also, I, I feel like I'm definitely like missing something a little bit with this game. Because I'm already at the cr at this cry night, but um, there's like a coral that I'm missing to just get the next. Oh, oh, that is the first leviathan we have seen. Oh, that's exciting and terrifying. So I don't know what's up with these little grubs. We 
got a couple pieces of cryonite. I feel like that's all I'm really gonna get in this area. Another torpedo arm. Okay, back up we go. I can only come down here and grab like a couple of things before I have to run back to my ship. You want to swim underwater? Have you ever been scuba diving? Garlic? I went once. Um, but it was before I ever had contacts. Uh, and so... I, like, had the mask on, but it couldn't seal properly because of my frames. Um. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Uh, and it was, like, super claustrophobic because I had to constantly be, like, pushing on the mask to clear out the water. Uh, and I just felt like I was going to drown, like, constantly. It was so scary. And they kept being like, no, it's fine, you're fine. I'm like, I don't know if I'm fine. <laughs> uh, okay. I think that was all I can really get from this area. It did kind of confirm to me that I'm not ready to get any of these artifacts. I'm not ready to get the artifacts, and I, I'm i gonna have to get the coral somewhere else. Um, I don't want to spend too much time in an area that I'm not ready to get to. You wanna get certified one day? You've been snor snorkeling before? Yeah, it's definitely worth trying, like, um, if you're ever traveling somewhere where they do, like, guided, uh, guided scuba diving. It's very cool. I don't want to go there. Suppose we'll go back home. you fish. Just leave me be. I'm just passing through. I'll turn off the light if that irritates you. You're a horrible swimmer. You always have been. No, KY, your greatest nemesis cannot be water. Gotta get you some swimming lessons. <laughs> get good. <laughs> no, but really, you don't want... You don't want to be, like, vanquished by water. Oh, is this part of the sea? Jesus walked on it. <laughs> when you put it that way, I'm like, alright, dude, do it. You do you. Give me all this. Bringing this back into my base. Um, I think it's wild that I have, like, potentially one of the most rare elements in the game. Uh, I'm sure there will be more rare elements, but it was, like, the rarest element in the last game. Um, and I don't even have my next depth module yet. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Captain. I really need this. Um, where can I dump this? Do I have to make a whole other locker? I probably do. We're just gonna do it. I'm just gonna make a new locker. Just millions of lockers. I'm gonna need a whole other room just for the lockers. There is absolutely no organization. I like tried to do an organization for about like five minutes. Uh, and then I, like, abandon it immediately. So it was just taking too much time. I just didn't want to. But now I kind of have to, because I've just got so many of them. Alright. So. Where could the coral be? If I were coral... That's not this coral. 
Can I learn anything about it? Spiral plant clippings. Maybe it's not coral. Maybe it's something else. What happens when the big boys outside catch you? Do they eat you? They, like, do damage to you. Um, they don't really do much, to be honest. Um, sometimes they'll, like, grab hold the ship and, like, shake it around a little bit. But it's it's been nothing that I've died from. There's, like, one in particular that's large and kind of annoying. Um, but they they sound scarier when you're traveling through them than they actually are because they like trail behind they're like making this like chomp 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 kind of noise and then i'm like just chill out they've even like bitten me a couple of times when i'm just like swimming um and i've been i've been fine Jade membrane. Harvest for high nutritional value. See, I thought it was the coral bridge. that I was supposed to be harvesting from, but I don't think so. Hmm. Hmm. Give me resources. Gimme. I need stuff. Game, I need more guidance. Game, please. Having such a large oxygen tank is, like, so nice now. Um... I don't like how that moves. I haven't, oh, I haven't scanned the squid shark yet. kind of scary. It's a little bit scary. Uh, it was very scary the first time I came down here. I was, like, freaking out. And then I died, like, a bunch of times trying to, like, harvest materials, and I got so frustrated that now I'm not scared of it. <laughs> oh, that thing sucks, though. That thing is the absolute worst. Hate those. Those, like, grab you and pull you in. Those are legitimately scary. This game scares you way more than Outer Wilds? Really? I mean, I guess this has more spooky, scary things. I think Outer Wilds was scarier that when something went wrong, it was usually unexpected. 
and you didn't know what was gonna happen. If I get grabbed by one of these fish, I know that I'm just like gonna die and there's not gonna be any consequence for that. Um, yeah. Uh, in Outer Wilds, it's like, if something goes wrong, it's like some big, crazy unknown. You're falling into a black hole and you don't know where you're going and space is big. I'd say they're both spooky for different reasons, I guess. Maybe I'm just desensitized to this one. I think that's what it is. No luck on the spiral stuff. Grab some water. Um, where are my other fish at? Fish. Space! <laughs> Garlic, I'm really excited for you to play Outer Wilds. Because I want to talk about it. Mm. Guess I'll take that first aid kit. I'll drop off this other fish. Put him in with his friends. Switch. Uh, and then I want a couple of these. So I can make... Fiber mesh. Oh, is it? It's the... Not that. It's that, and I don't think I have more. I think I have to go get more. Off to get more! You should do a test stream to see if it breaks your computer. Yeah, good plan. Uh, it's coming to Switch. Very soon, actually. Uh, I think, I think it was like July, June or July, that it's coming to Switch. Because that's what you normally stream off of, right, is your Switch. But that'll be sweet. I bet it'll play really nicely on the Switch, too. Summer 2021. Can't find a date. I, I know they announced they announced like a loose date during one of the recent Switch uh, announcement things. Whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Um, oh, I can switch a battery out. Grab that one. Um, I don't need this. I'll keep everything else. Um, I'll grab some food and water, and then I guess we'll go on another adventure, another trip somewhere. Maybe we'll go to land, see what we can find that's new. Water. Three should be enough. We'll grab one fish. This is why I need to name stuff. I need to name these lockers, so I'm not doing this forever. Let's grab one more. And I'm gonna grab some salt, and we'll cure them, and then we'll go. Because I want to do something. I want to do something else. Out of my base. Salt? I need some salt, please. Thank you. One more. Excuse me, sir. Could I have another? Um, this game gives you a, a tool to help you find stuff, but it's, like, so inefficient to use that I just, like, haven't bothered with it at all. 
Um, am, am I down here just researching what's my goal in the game? Good question. So, uh, we are here trying to find our sister who went missing while she was doing research. Um, and then while we were looking around uh, and, and getting our bearings... Stop it! Stop it! Knock it off! Um... While we were searching for her, we stumbled across an alien base, and the alien base had, like, a consciousness in it, and it merged with us. Uh, so now we've got an alien in our brain, and we need to build it a body so that it can live on its life on its own and not on a host. Found one piece of salt. Usually, salt's really easy to find. It's a rock. That's another rock. What the hell? That was not the answer you were expecting to get. Yeah, it's uh, it wasn't what I was expecting from the game, either. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna have one fish. That's fine. We don't need a second meal. We'll be fine. Welcome aboard, Captain. We'll just store the other fish. Get in there. Uh, I'll just drink that. I feel like I spend more time just, like, getting water and food than anything else. I I've tried to find some ways to make it a little bit more efficient, but I haven't found a great way yet. So let's see. It's daytime, so now might be a good time to go to the... That. I want to go there. Which is northeast. Also, I'm pretty sure that the icebergs move around, but I'm but I'm not a hundred percent certain. Furthest I can get. If I can't get up here, maybe I can. All right, let's do it. Let me up. Look at this. We made it on land. Thank you for warming me. I love these flowers. Nope. Oh. It's like maybe this is the spiral stuff I need. This is where we crash. Oh, this is where we crash landed originally. I get it. I get it. I get it. Blair. Don't need that. 
Yeah, so we have like a cold meter now. No, can't take anything from that. Filtered water. Oh, more filtered water, more food. Well, at least this wasn't completely worthless coming out here. Go back. Oh my gosh, it's already been two hours and 45 minutes. Oh my god. Time flies. I remember, like, when I first started the stream tonight, like, 30 minutes went by and it felt really long. And I was like, oh, I guess it'll be a short stream. But nope, have a regular one. Um, all right. Well, you love snowy areas in games. I'm like mixed on them. I don't like icy areas in games. Like. When you're slipping and sliding all over the place, that doesn't feel good. Well, I couldn't go where I wanted to. Hmm. Keep getting, like, mildly roadblocked. Um... Well, I think here is a good place to stop tonight. I was hoping to, like, kind of, like, find one more cool thing before. Uh, signing off, but... That's okay. We saw some cool areas in this, in, uh, this, this stream, so... Might as well dock my ship. Let it charge up. All right, I think I'm gonna call it here. Yeah, it's late. I didn't realize how late it was. Save, we're gonna save. Cool. Thank you guys for hanging out. Garlic, Orc, KY, thanks for stopping in, saying hello. Let's see who's online. <laughs>